cutting. Um, then we can get back inside to cookies, food, and treats and check out the model. So welcome everyone to the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony of the model home at Urban North Subdivision. Uh, today we'll do just a short presentation, uh, introduce the subdivision to you and some of the features. Uh, we'll recognize our sponsors of today's events and subcontractors that helped Luke to make this happen. And we'll hear from a couple of key players in this phase of our progress in the subdivision. I am Carolyn Geiger, and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty and head up the Geiger Elite Real Estate Group. And my team is in charge of the new home sales here at the subdivision. And working very hard inside is uh, Dawn Sharp, who several of the vendors have met. She was the one that called and asked for lovely things for our really cool treat bags today. And um, that's Dawn walking in right now. Thank you, Dawn. And Ariel um, Hutchin, who is my assistant. And then I have a couple of agents that I'd like to recognize to say thank you to who are working inside. And that is Terry Riddle and Lana uh, really hard last name to pronounce. <laughs> she will forgive me, that's okay. All right, um, the idea and concept of Urban North became, you know, became a reality a couple years ago um, when the land here actually came for sale. And our team is experienced in new home sales and development, and so this location seemed like a perfect place to have a new community in the Northland. Um, Next step was just making a simple call to Luke. Um, I was in the drive-thru of McDonald's when I did that, and <laughs> I'll never forget it, um, and said, hey, there's this cool, this land here. Uh, we should think about you know, doing a subdivision. You've always talked about that. And I think within five minutes, Luke had it wrapped up, ready to go, and here we are. So um, he uh, and I have worked together for about 10 years, and um, he and my husband and some of his family helped um, with him building there. Um, as the market declined, we, uh, he became an investor and started renovating. And that was kind of the catalyst that I think helped Luke get going. And it's been really neat to be part of that process. And <clears throat> gathering momentum, Luke propelled his business through that challenged economy to build custom homes provide remodeling, roofing, and so much more to so many homeowners in the Northland and all across the metro. He's one of the very few business owners I know in the construction industry that not only survived the downturn, but he thrived through it. And I think that's pretty cool for what we went through. Uh, clearly, Luke has a very special eye of design. He has a very unique point of view and I know this has been a wonderful dream for him to see this become a reality and I think we owe him just a quick round of applause. <laughs> the subdivision is a niche community for those that have a love for energy efficiency and a heartbeat for contemporary design. The lots here will be 24 homes. Seven of those are already reserved, under contract, or sold. So that leaves 17 left. The average price of our community will be between $340,000 and $390,000. All our homes here will aim to be LEED for Homes and Energy Star for New Homes certified. Key energy features that you may find in our homes are rain barrels that are tied to an irrigation system underground, a high energy efficiency door and window package, extensive insulation, each home is to be prepped for solar panel, high efficiency appliances, water heater and HVAC system, along with fresh air exchangers to provide a healthy living environment. Our subdivision will feature a community structure Right down at the turn of the street, there will be a community building uh, with a fire pit and picnic shelter, along with a play area. And then, of course, we have four acres of dedicated green space that will remain to preserve a creek that borders our property. 
Each of you will find paperwork and features in the sacks that you guys have received today. And if you haven't got one, then you just need to check in um, inside the garage. And there's also a website um, that in your press kit packet you will find, um, you can get digital copies of any of our brochures and more details and information. And that is urbannorthliving.com backslash press kit. I've been blessed to be a part of the Urban North team and I champion Luke's efforts in contemporary style and efficiency. I'm just grateful to be counted on to execute, execute and communicate his vision to the future homeowners of this neighborhood. And thank you to Luke. I would like to introduce Sherry L. Sowers, who is the marketing director of Owen Homes, and she has a few words to say. marketing director for Owen Homes. Uh, it's been a great experience coordinating my efforts with Carolyn's team and making this all happen and it's come together beautifully and I couldn't be more proud of everybody so that's awesome. Um, I appreciate everybody coming out today and checking this out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I have so far but there's a long list of people who have made this possible and I'd like to take a minute to dedicate or to recognize a few of those people. Um, just a fraction of the people that have helped make this happen would be Platte Valley Bank, Draw Architecture and Urban Design, McCaffrey Short, Complete Home Concepts, Overhead Door, Loma Vista Nursery, Wilson's Flooring, Top Master, KC Metalworks, JJ Productions, GNN Maintenance, Young Sign Company, Buckner Drywall, Nebraska Furniture Mart, Owens Corning, B. Holland and Company. What? What? This is a this is a one I'm gonna mess up on. I <laughs> apologize. With Willerth and Capke Law Firm, GM Peters Insurance. Another one I'm gonna mess up. Allet Survey, Gordon Energy, United HVAC, ABC Supply, Blue Gen, Big Red Decorative Concrete, Best Lighting. Wolf Wong and Landscape, Greens Excavating, Carney Wind Supply, Bordner Stucco, Hoy Excavating, Quality Trust Company, Advanced Erosion, and Bennett Concrete. Um, like I said, wouldn't have been possible without you all, and we really appreciate everything that you've done for us in getting this started. And it was our first subdivision for Owen Homes, and. We dived in not knowing a whole lot about it, and I think so far it's turned out awesome. And we've got 24 homes going in here, and it looks great. And I'm ready to do another one, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I'm going to turn it over to Luke. Luke's going to tell you a little bit about the house and what it's all about. I do want to thank everyone that came out here here today because I know that we talk about every week about how busy everyone is and how inundated with work everyone here is. Um, I think it's a tribute to the quality that you all provide. Um, I look out and I see so many people who it takes to put a house together. I mean, and then and then all the infrastructure and everything that we put in here before we can even start a house. It just there's so many people who are talented and work on projects like this that it's. Like it's just opportunities like this that you actually get to step on everybody to look at that. Um, so when Carolyn called me and didn't offer me coffee, um, we, my wife Emily and I had been talking about uh, the lack of time that we had because we were mowing all the time and maintaining our house, and we had already started to discuss moving. Um, and Carolyn called me, and we, it. it instantly triggered another ambition of mine, which was to, to do a subdivision in the right school district, in the right area, um, where we could do a few houses that were all unique. I didn't know what design style that was, but I wanted to do something where each house had its own facade and each uh, homeowner was able to design their own home. Um, so Carolyn called me and it instantly resonated with what we were after. So we put our house in the market we decided that our business was growing, our family was growing, we were involved with church, we just didn't have time that we thought we would three years prior to that when we built our dream home. And so we moved down here and uh, we 
we uh, sold our home. We started uh, this process here. Um, early on, I, I met up with Luke Gen Engineering and Hoy Excavating, and they were they were really critical to getting this whole thing up and running. I mean, they they this is what they do. They guided through the city. They guided through all of the. Um, I had no idea how much stuff went into that. <laughs> you guys put up with a lot of stuff, um, but I'm very grateful for them on the early on stages. They they had this uh, groundbreaking here about a year and a half ago when we got started with uh, with all the infrastructure. So I, I I do appreciate all of their efforts in getting this done. And so then that presented to where I actually had experience in, which was building the houses. Um, I knew that in order to create something truly different, I needed to bring in someone who really specialized in that. Um, after one meeting with Draw Architecture, I knew that Dominique and her team, they got everything that we were after. I mean, I, I just gave them the concept, I gave them the budget, the design parameters, and they took everything that I had and they made it a lot better. And that's something I've noticed with just about every single, well, every single company here, not just about. Every company here, we work with you guys because every one of you, you take like what we want to do and then your professionalism, you bring it in and you make it better. And so I just, I notice that through everything, whether it's the flooring, the foundation, the roofing, the windows, um, we're just surrounded by a lot of really talented people. And so I started working with, with Dominique and Jessica and the whole team at Draw. And then she introduced me to Mary English, who we'll talk in a few minutes. And Mary, Mary is really good at like putting down what what we're after as far as energy efficiency goes. She knows all the technical ways to get that done and get that accomplished. And so she's been really instrumental in inspecting the houses and um, just her approach to um, a green concept that's that's smart, a smart practical way to approach it, not not to completely go crazy with the budget on the house, but just to find practical ways. And her, her business is small steps, and I think that's that just d describes Mary, because it's, it's just a lot of small steps during construction, that when we get done, we have a house that is extremely airtight, extremely efficient, and from experience, very comfortable to live in for the first month we've been in down the road. So, um, so I do want to thank um, both of them as far as draw architecture and Mary with all their efforts uh, during then. And um, I also want to thank my company, Owen Homes. We have 17 people on staff, and they put up with some crazy ideas every day. And we are always striving to figure out better ways to build a house from the new materials, new products, new building science, new codes, new methods of installing it, and new designs. We're always trying to push that way. And so I get to collaborate with 17 people every day that share that vision and share that enthusiasm for houses. Um, and so that's, that, that is truly a blessing that we get to enjoy every day. And there's also over 100 different companies and subcontractors that we work with, which um, that's a lot of people to work with. And as I as I see a lot of faces in here, I think, man, we we struggle on a lot of this stuff as far as building. Whether it's whether it's the weather, whether it's uh, labor supply, whether it's trying new materials, trying new designs, it's a struggle. And um, without you guys and all of your patience and all of your extra efforts to put everything together. Um, Kansas City would be a much different place because I know I'm not the only builder that you guys work with. Um, and so I, I am very grateful for that. Um, and I'm very grateful for the family, my family as well. My wife, Emily, my two kids, Jacoby and Riel, they put up with a lot of uh, long hours on my end. And um, they just put up with a lot. And they've, uh, they've made this possible. And my parents do. Um, Ann and Cindy and Phil and Rita and Emily's parents and then my grandparents are all there as well. Um, I've been very fortunate to have a really good family and a really supportive family. And they just, they, they keep everything grounded. So we work a lot, we get a lot done. Uh, sometimes we have fun at work and goof off, but for the most part, <laughs> we just work all the time. Um, but we, we get to every now and then stop and enjoy uh, taking back and look at what we've built uh, collaboratively. And it's it's truly a remarkable experience. And like I said, I couldn't have done it with all of your help and all of your contributions and thank you again for all of that and thank you for being here.
there's much left to say, I feel like, we've already said What an incredible process for us to be a part of. We're so honored at DRAW, uh, Jessica and myself and everybody else, to have uh, been selected to be the architects to help really uh, bring this vision to life. Um, Luke came with such a strong, wonderful idea. You know, we really specialize in resourceful design and creating inspired places. That's what we, we strive to do every day. And to have someone come to us and say, I want to create a resourceful neighborhood, like 24 of them, and we were, <laughs> we were kind of jumping out of our skin. We were so excited um, to have that opportunity to be able to Build the first neighborhood, right? 24 lead sort of my home. So um, it's an incredible honor and uh, it's absolutely uh, thrilling to see it now come together and um, see the houses coming out of the ground. Um, it's been a great collaborative process, right? It's been really wonderful to um, work back and forth on the design process to be able to have the homeowners come in and, and have their input as well. Uh, and every single house is going to be unique. Every single one is going to look different. And uh, that's that's, uh, that's definitely a challenge. It's not easy to do when you have some lots that are very similar in size and you have access issues that are all going to be very similar. And um, so we're stretching and working hard. Uh, so. Thank you very much for selecting us, and we're really enjoying it. All right, next is Mary English with Small Step Energy. Taking small steps to the podium. <laughs> Hello. Uh, like Dominique, I don't know um, if I can add to every great thing that's already been said. Um, I too am just uh, Small Step Energy Solutions has really been thrilled that we could be a part of uh, a full development that is sustainably built and energy efficient. I do, um, you know, my firm has been doing this for six years and uh, this is the first, uh, like Omni said, development that's dedicated to this. Normally we're going out and doing custom build houses here and there scattered throughout the city. So this has just been really great. I do want to just talk a little bit about third party verification because that's what makes this so, um, you know, it's verified that it's sustainably built and energy efficient. That's important. You're not just hearing from the builder or the marketing team that, oh yes, you know, we're building this to high quality, to sustainable standards. They're bringing in a third party firm and me, in turn, Small Step, is also being verified by another third-party firm. They're QCing what we're submitting. And then the USGBC then gives the final certification. So um, I think Luke was a little bit disappointed that we didn't have the final certification done by today. But in actuality, that's good news because it means that the process is really taken very seriously. You know, we come in and we're actually testing these houses. Um, we're visually verifying during the construction process as well, but the rubber hits the road in the tests. So we're testing the air tightness, we're testing the ductwork. I can't tell you uh, how high a percentage out there um, of homes that are built to code where the HVAC delivery system is not designed correctly, it's not tested, and it's not going to be um, uh, creating a comfortable and healthy environment. So we like to talk about uh, the four things that these homes really have that's beneficial for the homeowner. It's affordable, because your bills are gonna be low because it's energy efficient. It's comfortable, so you can feel the efficiency or not feel it, as it were. No cold drafts, no hot rooms over the garage in the summertime. Um, it's just gonna be very you know, well-being because of the comfort. It's also healthy, and these things are, um, anecdotal right now because the sustainable homes movement is still um, just gaining traction but anecdotally these houses tend to be uh, very healthy um, for people that move into them you know cases of asthma and chronic allergies and things like that are low like i said anecdotal not statistical uh, and then finally it's durable so these homes are also going through what's called a durability checklist so they're going to last a really long time 
and the maintenance is going to be really low. I heard Luke mention about issues with maintaining his previous home. So our firm goes through and has <laughs> like half a dozen checklists, <laughs> lots of paperwork, um, and then also coming in with heavy equipment and testing these houses. And um, just again, really happy that this has been done and that we're a part of it. Thank you very much. who's been a part of uh, this journey with me, and who spent our 20th anniversary last night stuffing the sacks that you're holding. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also responsible for it that you can hear me, which is great. So I just want to say I love you, thank you for everything that you do to support me. We'll do is just uh, start gathering around the big green ribbon and 